God bless. Today I will be showing you how to modify the transmitter of the Sima X8C. When done correctly, this will give you 300 plus meters of range. There are a few tools that we're going to need to do this. A soldering iron. A Phillips head screwdriver. Solder. Flux. A knife. A glue gun is optional. Super glue is optional. SMA cable and a 5 dB antenna. Make sure it's a female. Of course, the transmitter. There are eight screws intact that need to be removed. Before you remove these screws, cut off the tip where the fake antenna was to make room for the SMA cable. Next thing you do is you grab your SMA cable. Do not use the female end. You do not need this end right here. You can cut it off and throw it away. This is the end you need right here for the antenna to go into. This is the side you need. So I will cut it off like halfway. This way it gives you a, enough play just in case you mess up and you will mess up. Okay, now, this part right here is going to where you hook up to the antenna. This is the main hookup. I'll show you that. And the shielding is where you hook up to the ground. The next thing you want to do is prepare the SMA cable to be attached to the board. And what you do is dip the wire in a little flux and tin it up with the solder. Like so. This is the main antenna part right here. That's being tinned up. Get a nice, good bubble. Let it cool off. Let it sit. And then we do the ground side, where the ground part's going to go. Now the wires are ready and prepped for the next step. After opening your transmitter, you will immediately notice two antennas. A clear white antenna to your right and a black antenna to your left. The black antenna is the antenna that you're detaching. The white antenna you do not touch. I repeat, do not touch. What you want to do next is take your soldering iron, your high soldering iron, and desolder the old antenna from the board. Okay, can you see that? Okay, now. This side right here is where the main antenna goes, and this side right here is the ground. Okay, this side right here, this side is your main antenna, and you don't want it to cross over to anything else. You just put the soldering iron on there until it starts melting. Move it over a little bit. There we go. Get that off of there. You don't want it touching nothing else but that. My soldering skills are not that great. There you go, see? That's on there. Just don't want it touching that back there. So let me take this little piece off. Okay. Then you take the grounding and put it over here on this side like this. Make sure that don't touch anything else. And take that side, put it on top of the, the ground. And then solder it in there. So you start to melt. Heat it up. There you go. See? There we go. Hold it there till it dries. Okay. There we go. Well, solder it on. Let me just make sure it ain't connected. Make sure it ain't touching nothing. Make sure they're not touching each other. 
So what you gotta do is, you see this? Make sure it's not touching, it's not touching. Over here. Okay, you see that? It's not the best soldering, but hey, it's on there. Okay. What you want to do next is take this piece right here that you cut off, the antenna, the fake antenna. Take it out. comes right out. See it? Take off your nut from the center, the top nut from your center cable. Okay. Oops. And what you do is you put this in through here. on that nut what I did was super glue I like the super glue okay screw the nut back on There you go. And now you just place it back where it goes over here. We almost home. The final step is to grab your hot glue gun and make your project sturdy and tight. This is to keep the the wires in place to make sure they don't move around inside or touch or get disconnected. Put your transmitter back together. Put the screws back in. I mean, what I usually do is I put a little super glue right around the edge right here. I'm a mess today. I messed it all up. This is the second summer X8 that I modded. I'm a little tired, but I appreciate you guys watching. Ask God bless all y'all. We put our trust in the Lord, and I appreciate if you would sub and like the video. I look forward to more making more tutorials for you in the future. God bless.